Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Rian. Welcome back to the 100% playthrough of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In today's episode, we are tackling some contracts and side quests. And first one on the list is a contract that we got from a certain Kurt Desard named Doors Slamming Shot. Sprawling out-of-town manors always hide their fair share of mysteries, and the residents on Novigrad's outskirts were no exception. When Geralt found out about a haunted manor owned by a certain Kurt Desard, he agreed at once to look into the matter. Now we need to talk to Kurt, who I do believe is at the Kingfisher. There we go. Over here, I think, up on the second floor. That's a very, very descriptive insult. Uh, let's talk to him. Yes. Kurt Dysart. Count Kurt Dysart. Dysart. Are you here mm. regarding the contract? Mm. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the School of the Cat. Which do you belong to? School of the Wolf, not your concern. School of the Griffin, School of the Wolf. School of the Wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. So his name did begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, to the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now, I've learned, the building is said to be haunted. Goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghosts. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? Well, first things first, let's talk about the reward. Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for a coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Novigrad and he's off his head in minute. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Oh, just because you're being a not such a nice person, 320. Yes, agreed. Really? Okay, then we'll, we'll definitely look into it. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Here's the key. And good luck. Okay, let's travel Back to again, the... Excuse me! Oh, uh, what's the fastest way to get there? Uh, Oxenford Gate... Where is this, even? Dancing Woodmill, I think we are better off just taking a... Fast travel. Do it like this and travel to the dancing windmill. The windmill is there and we should I think just head straight. There's the orchard. And I do think I see the house in between the trees. It does look like a fine estate, like right by the lake and everything. Very nice, actually. So this is the haunted house. Moldavi residence. And we have a marker also. This is a very weird house layout. Oh, 
Whole building shaking, but a specter would have attacked me already. Okay, there was something down there. Inhabitant clearly left in a hurry. Oh, is that mold on the food? Oh. Oh, lovely. We have a couple of books to read. Uh, something about polymorphy and then the journal from the Moldavi residents. Uh, let's read about polymorphy first. To change form, to shape one's matter as clay, that's no nomus's trick, no flickering glow light or rat killing blue bolt. Only those with bowels soaked in oceans of magic arcana. And few are born with bowels so absorbent can hope to master it. There are exceptions, of course. Dragons, as is well known, possess such a talent in innately. With no need for study, uh, they can, guided by some otherworldly intuition, change between humanoid and a reptilian form. As for the other races, higher vampires, example Bruxae, are known to flicker between states, yet given the understandable difficulties of conducting research in this area, we do not know if this transition constitutes an act of polymorphy. The human race is obviously much more accessible to scholars of polymorphy. Their years of study have borne fruit in the form of a set of methods and guidelines for the identification, nurture, and deployment of this talent. The most accomplished result of the careful application of these methods, Philippa Alhart. Because she can transform into an owl at will. And now for the journal. What a lovely home. I cannot believe we were able to buy it so cheaply. Valeria always had a keen mind for business. She haggled so fiercely the broker dropped his price by a third. Incredible. Valeria says the room layout is exceptionally well conceived. Tomorrow we will move all our things in. It will be good to have our own place. Finally, some peace and quiet. Once we had arranged all the furniture, Valeria decided we needed to paint the walls yellow. Perhaps that is for the best, it will make it more cozy. Valeria's mother visited us. Tomorrow I shall paint the walls green. Valeria heard some noises during the night. She woke me several times, but I did not hear a thing. The ni this night I heard them. The walls shook. Valeria had learned from the neighbors that previously a powerful mage resided in this home. They all say he would summon demons and his spirit still haunts its rooms. People will believe the most outlandish nonsense. Valeria has decided to move back in with her mother for some time, until I do something about the walls. I joke that perhaps I could simply repaint them, but I don't think she found that amusing. The plaster had begun to fall off. It seems to me that I heard a noise last night, something like a muffled roar. Valeria has returned. She found a buyer for the, new for the home. Avoided any suspicion by claiming... Uh, to be the mage's widow, selling off the estate after her husband's unfortunate death at the stake. Full count must think he has found himself an incredible bargain. Okay. Scattered salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. And we have a basement by the looks of it. flowing through this crack. There's something in there. Okay, let's go here first, then. And I'm justifying looting the Count's home just because he was a bit of an ass. Okay, Elven Ruins, really? Here in a while. There's a root of some sort. Not the root of any ordinary plant. Must be magic. And then we have another journal, hmm. perhaps? Looks like a journal. 
A Maverick of Serrano's Journal. Oh goodness. When dealing with beings of this nature, it is most vital to achieve equilibrium between giving free reign to its will and obstructing it with the feathers of servitude. The sagacious elementalists who had tamed a magic minion should not heed the sweet yet perniculous urge to unbind the being, for only harm will come of it, wailing and gnashing of teeth will be the only result. Likewise, he who tightens his servant's yoke overmuch will gain nothing from it, for his enchanted being will be to him dumb and dull as a lump of earth. The key is to prepare a proper magic barrier, one whose effectiveness shall be backed by a crystal of power. This crystal is of the utmost importance. If it should break, the barrier shall fail, yet worry not over much, for neither axe nor blade can harm it. A barrier thus secured shall serve as the minion's prison without undully hindering its power. The ability to erect it properly, however, demands a high level of proficiency, the kind no mere superficial study of practice can provide. The bunglers and newer never do wells of our profession need not apply. Right, sounds suitable, suitably pompous. Must have Dukas make a clean copy of this first draft, prepare it for publication. Wonder what the clod is. I send him. Wonder where that clod is. I sent him out for cheese and ink ages ago. Holy Earth Elemental, pretty powerful too. Gotta go deeper. Need to open the passage somehow. Yeah, we can swim through here. Oh, look, a lover. I wonder what's going to happen. We also have a bestiary entry. Elementa. Earth er elementals. Most specifically, Therazane. There's no such thing as a risk-free real estate investment. It might turn out your new home has a leaky roof, structural rot in the attic, or scra and scratched door, scratch floor in the living room or elven ruins beneath its foundation and within them an enormous earth elemental just waiting for a chance to break free of its chains. Finding such a monster is no easy task. Its tough outer husk deflects all but the strongest blows. It can liquefy a man's bones with one crushing blow from its fists. Thus, one should never near it without first casting the Quan sign. One should have the Erden sign at the ready as well, whereas the other sign, Igni, Ard, and Axi are completely ineffective against it. The Meridium Elemental Oil, okay. Something clicked. Oh goodness. Oh. Preemptively go towards Gwen. There we go. Almost managed to break its magic bonds. A few days more, and it would have wreaked havoc all around. support um what can I collapse this uh, I definitely need to apply elemental well this is no fun. A meridian bomb, maybe two. Um, I'm not doing this, by the way. Okay, I'm guessing uh, the menu just refuses to work properly. Moon dust. Do I have the meridian bomb? I do. Okay, let's do this. The meridian bomb. Ow. Okay, 
definitely back to Quen. the sword. And probably also reapply the oil. The Demeridian Bomb is actually blocking me from being able to cast Glenn properly. Ay ay ay. Cleaver Hood. Collect your reward. Holy moly. That was a fight. Thankfully, we have a waypoint here just to be able to fast travel to Hierarch Square. Hmm, into here. Looks like he's still at the same old place. Hello. Uh, yes. Here to let the little. How shouldn't Whoa. get you any more trouble? <laughs> a little renovation, and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why the estate's price just spiked sharply? What precisely was the problem? Earth elemental trapped in the cellar. I was just trying to get out. Almost demolished the house in the effort. <laughs> Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. And the cellar you mentioned, is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. What I meant to say was here to collect the reward, but I absolutely, completely butchered it. Okay, we cashed in on this. 320 crowns. We also have another contract. No, that's the secondary quest. Contract Mysterious Tracks. In the village of Lindenvale, Geralt came across a highly unusual contract. A certain hunter was worried by some strange tracks he had found in the woods and sought someone who could help him determine to whom or to what they belonged. We, of course, are going to tackle this immediately. And once again, we have to fast travel over to Linden Vale. Thankfully, we unlocked this marker ages ago. What? Another one? Be God! You witches are trouble. Oh, Village has suffered enough. Elder man, what's wrong? Ye deaf? Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witches coming from? Where? I'll tell ye where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunked things over. Then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. Awfully noble of him. Awfully noble of him. Thought so too, at first. Said for pay he'd take something I had that did not yet know about. Then he left. And here the door swung shut behind him. Me last started wailing. What's these tears? I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. 
fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. Um, um... Witchers are sterile. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of yous and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me doctor, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eat her guts, that fornicated freak. Okay, Witcher wannabe. Uh, looks like we are not tackling the contract just yet. We need to see what this wannabe Witcher is all about and what he actually wants. If I remember correctly, the cemetery is not all that far, so we should be good to go on foot here. A ghoul is easy to deal with. Here we have some footsteps. Interesting. Over here, over here. Did I actually ever collect the chest from here? I did, okay. <laughs> and then over... Thank you, ah. thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing. A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where do you get the medallion? I bought it from a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell them about me, please. Monster slain! Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Took two witchers to kill this ghoul, only one here. I'm not sure how things work in the Witcher world, but I think if if you impersonate a Witcher, that's kind of the equivalent of impersonating a police officer in this time. So there's only one Witcher here. Only one Witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh. We've laws for this kind, special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Let him go take him to the village elder. Definitely take him to, take the him to the village elder. elder. Of course. Elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through. Fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. And with that done, I think this is a good spot to wrap this episode up and tackle the other quest in the next episode. So thank you so much for watching and joining Geralt and I on his adventures. In case you liked this video, please leave a like, comment, maybe even subscribe if you liked it, or generally if you like the content I put out on my channel. It takes a couple of seconds and it means so much to me because it helps grow the channel a lot. If you want to follow me on my socials, they are listed down in the description box below. And that's it for me for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!